What's up? We are here for the breakfast babble. That's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> the breakfast babble. <laughs> Welcome to the first day in the life vlog. Right now we're having breakfast at 10 Lizzie's. It's there's a busy street right here if you can't tell. I just ordered the uh, the chicken and shrimp skillet. Hopefully it's gonna be good. I haven't ordered no jalapenos because I don't like spicy stuff. I don't think that your food should hurt. You know what I mean? Um, I know you guys have had questions, all right? So now is the perfect time to get your questions answered. So if you want your questions and your name featured in my vlog, leave your questions below in the comment section and I will pick and choose questions and I will shout you guys out in my vlog for YouTube. How do you handle a dancing in crowded areas where there is a lot of people? Have you ever been hassled by people or is it mostly good vibes from the public when they see you shoot a video? Um, well, usually when I dance in crowded areas, People will stop and gather around or they'll just keep going on about their business. This one time I danced overseas somewhere and I didn't even know that it was close to a subway station. So this massive amount of people just started coming and walking by and blocking the camera. That's the main thing that becomes a problem with, with dancing in crowded areas is people get in front of your shot. You know what I mean? They stand in front of the camera not knowing that it's there. They're oblivious to what's going on. They're like, why is this dude just dancing right here? Alex underscore react underscore spence that's a great question man hope you found your answer for that one here at the babbling brunch or the talkative table what should we call it I don't know. you guys think of any cool any cool names for this segment when i answer questions from uh, instagram just let me know denzel my name is denzel and do you like playing video games oh that's my favorite pastime is playing video games uh i do play on ps4 Gamer tag is what's good dubstep, and there's only one D. All right, I play Watch Dogs 2 and Rocket League. Do you need anything else? Um, no, I think that's I think that's good. Can I have a little location? Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. King of Spades asks, how did you manage dance while you were in the military? Hmm. That's a good question, King of Spades. It was hard because obviously there's no dancing allowed in the military. And I was always dance to the cadences when we would march. But the guy would make us do, he would make everybody else stop and do push-ups, except for me. So that made everybody hate me. It's really hard because there was so, I had to worry about my regular job, I had to worry about hurting myself. Cause, I, Cause you know, in the military you have on those combat boots. So they're not really good for dancing. And I got two, ingrown toenail from always dancing in military boots so I had to have surgery twice while I was in the military because of dancing it all it all paid off in the end you know <laughs> let's see so I am King Rock asks I will like to know if you got a mentor or someone who inspires you well, coming up, when I first moved to Atlanta, I did have a mentor, his name was Mike Watson, and he was like the best animation popping style dancer out here. Kind of took me on his wing and we went around dancing everywhere. Like, he didn't really teach me how to dance, just being around the dance, I kind of picked it up, you know what I mean? So, I would say he was my, my mentor, along with all my other crewmates and people in the dance scene when I came out. Like, there was Loose Screws, there was HBO Crew. HBO Crew is still around to this day, actually, but it's just the dance scene as a whole brought me to where I am and where my style is now, along with myself, of course, you know? And, and as far as idols, I would say Michael Jackson, Flat Top, Boppin' Andre, Mr. Animation, Salah, I used to grow up coming up watching Salah, he used to wow me all the time, and me and him are actually friends now and have battles, of course. It's crazy, like, just seeing all these people that I used to look up to, and now they're within arm's reach, which is crazy, because I never would have thought that I would have made it to the point where I could actually meet 
turbo and ozone from breaking one and breaking two and now he reaches out to me it's very humbling you know what i mean because that is what got me started dancing watching those old school movies and stuff you know what i mean and now we're close friends i would say yeah if you don't have an idol or a mentor watch my video <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now that's the end of this segment, you guys. If you didn't get your questions answered in this one, make sure you tune in for the next vlog that I do, part two. Uh, be out in the next couple of weeks, maybe. Maybe a month. I don't know. But right now, we're going to go sneak up on Remote Control. They have a performance at the Woodruff Arts Center. And they don't know we're coming, so we're going to go sneak in and crash their party, you know? So, peace. See you in a minute. Yeah, so this is part two of the vlog. Right now we're going into the elevator to go and meet up with Remote Control. This is going to be Cordero, the guy who took my spot in Remote Control. He's holding it up pretty well, if I must say. He's not me, though. He's not me. He's not me. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're doing their thing. Chibi and I glide. Um, Get, hopefully we get to go backstage and all that good stuff and give you a little glimpse of their performance. I'd rather go down to the stairs than up to the stairs. But yeah, who's your favorite remote control member? Leave it in the comments section. And do you think I should put back in remote control? What do you guys think? Maybe not for good, but maybe like an OG the original three performance, you know? You should have took the other way. Freeze, Jack! And that's Cordero of Remote Control. If y'all didn't know. He just, he just moved back. He just got off the school bus. Just now. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> we're, we're part of your vlog? <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> What's going on, bro? Just I glide. I glizzle. Yeah, I glide. Y'all know. Chibi. Chibi. Y'all know who he is. Tori. Chibi. Tori. Chibi. Jazzle. Jazzle.
We're lost, we can't find the car. Yeah, man, all right, y'all. So that is the end of the day in the life. Right now, it's about 2.30. I still have some more running around to do, so my day isn't over, but this is all I'm gonna record for the day in the life. If you guys want a part two, get the likes up on this, and if it reaches a lot of likes, or if it gets a lot of good feedback, I will do another day in the life and bring you guys out with me for a full day, including the night when I go out to party and hang out, go bowling, stuff like that. If that's stuff you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments, and let me know what your favorite part was about this whole video, all right? Much love, love you guys. Like and subscribe, share, and also, big shout out to Max Wu for coming out to shoot this whole Day in the Life project, and look out for more videos from him.